All right, let's see. Crafting for burgers. Let's go down to the kitchen. Let's check out this oh, the Book of the Dragonborn. I like how the Book of the Dragonborn is just right there. That's fantastic. Hey, Melon Nose. Hey, <laughs> hey, Melon Nose. Hang on a sec. Do I have it? No. <laughs> That's the wrong one. Hey, Melon Nose. Hey, Majol. A fine day to you, friend. You're a fucking guy melon nose, aren't you? Jesus hands. Christ. Okay, where can we do some cooking? In the oven. All right, we're loading some ingredients for use here. Burgers. Maybe I have to learn more cooking or something. Maybe I just have to learn more cooking. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Maybe you can do it on this cooking pot instead. Loading ingredients for use. Oh, come on. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Look. Dragon burger. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at this. You're a genius. Guy who made this. Look. <laughs> Fuck, it's so good. Okay, what else do we have? We got a, a horker burger. Looks pretty gross, actually. But look, at, it's got some lettuce, some tomatoes on there. We got some cheese as well. That's pretty good. There's a mammoth burger. Uh, what else? What other burgers do we have? Dragon burger, beef burger. This is just the this just the normal beef burger. We're gonna need some tomatoes, some bread, and some goat cheese wedges. I like that. I love the ingredients that you picked for these as well. It's so good. Okay, and can we actually make a burger? No, we can't. Okay, so while we're out today, we're gonna have to collect some ingredients. We're gonna need some cheeses, we're gonna need some bread, and some tomatoes, and the meats that we need as well. All right, nice. And then we'll set up our burger display. I have to find a, a suitable place to set up this burger display. Maybe upstairs in the trophy room? I think where all the other cool stuff is, is displayed, we'll set up our burgers as well. Possibly, like, maybe we can just put them, like, on the side here. Like, on this little ledge in front of all, like, the powerful artifacts or something. That could work. Or, like, in there. <laughs> we could just have them in there next to the Elder Scrolls. That could also be pretty good. Oh man, I'm excited. I hope you guys are also excited. Burgers are for eating, not display. Well, we'll eat some too, but we have to display some as well. Oh wait, we could put them on here. Look, we can set up the burgers on the fireplace. Keep them warm for when we do want to eat them. Ah shit, that's a good idea too. All right, we'll do that. All right, so we were going to kill Vittoria Vici. In, um, she's getting married. Uh, in solitude at the Temple of the Divines. Our next uh, mission as part of the Brotherhood is to um, kill her. We have to actually uh, do a kill on her. And I'm totally up for doing that. We need to find some more of these things too, actually. We've got this, like, Horn of Gondor. We've got this uh, candlestick holder as well. Uh, we have this gigantic... I don't know, it's like some sort of egg or something. We have the bee statue as well. We got the drum and, the drum and bass. And then we have the statue gray fox as well. Got some bookshelves up here too. Interesting. Alright, what's my carry weight like? We do have some books that we can do with dropping off. So let's do that first. We'll activate this bookshelf. We can place nine more books in this bad boy here. Another shelf is filled. Fuck, I love this. I love this mod and I love this game just so much. It's crazy. Okay, let's put those on there. Let's store these things in here as well. Perfect. Oh yeah, that's right. We checked out. Oh my god. We're never going to run out of book space, by the way. Holy crap. This second library is going to be the biggest library going. It's going to be nuts. Um, what else do we have on us that we don't need on us? Um, do we have like any weapons or arm? We have a couple of bits of armor. Oh yeah, we got the shrouded armor, boots, cowl, and gloves. What gloves am I actually wearing right now? I got Guildmaster's gloves, which is 35% uh, better lock picking. This uh, gives me double backstab damage, which... I'm not sure if I'm gonna really use much. Bows do 20% more damage. I think the thing I've got on right now. Croesus is much better, so that's fine. Boots, 
Wear is muffled and moves silently. It's the same boots that we have, but I think I like the look of the Nightingale boots a little bit better. So I'll keep those. And then the Shrouded Armor increases poison, re poison resistance. Okay, so let's get this set up down. The Shrouded stuff can get set up on a mannequin down here. Probably not this one, because I think this one already has been started. Shrouded. Actually, you know what? Shrouded Armor we can maybe put upstairs in the trophy room, because it's like special, right? It's like a, like a special, like, guild thing. I mean, we've got some mannequins in here, but let's use, like, one of these ones here. Now, if we change our mind, we can always, like, just remove it after it. That looks pretty cool. Actually, it's a pretty cool set. We'd look exactly like that babe that gets us to do all of this stuff as well, right? If we wanted to. It's pretty nice. Okay, perfect. Uh, what else? We have some, uh, potions. We have a bit of food that we could drop off to save on some inventory space. And we can use the drop box for the rest of the stuff, I guess. So let's do this. Let's put all of this stuff in. Nice. It actually didn't store everything, though. It didn't store all the wands. Okay, we're gonna have to store these wands in here. Not the cooked beef, though. It's just all the wine. Everything else we can take with us. Some of this stuff we can give to, like, Embry. Um, we can give it to the kids for, like, when we get home and stuff. There's a bunch of stuff that we can do there. So, set 171 is our carry weight now. Okay. Let's drop this stuff in the drop box, shall we? I don't know what is about hearing your voice, Dad, but I'm ready to go to bed now after hearing your dulcet tones. Christmas crustacean. Have a good sleep, man. Thanks for turning up for a bit. I hope you have a nice sleep. God damn. I, I had to wake up like so fucking early every day this weekend with the kids. It was nuts. I'm not used to it. Usually my wife's pretty good. Like she lets me sleep a lot. It's really good. So I'm not used to having to wake up. Miri's ring. Oh yeah, this is a really good one actually. And then there's all this crap here as well that we can drop off. Okay, nice. Do we have any extra Aegis Bane? Oh, Aegis Bane. Okay, hold up a sec. We have to go put Aegis Bane downstairs, I think. No? Where's the beard? It's gone. And I was, it was, I was, I was held at gunpoint and forced to shave off my beard, so I did. I didn't, I didn't want to lose my life this weekend, so I knew, I, I knew what I had to do, and that was shaving the beard off, so, no. There should be a mod that gives you all the quests related to the display cases for the artifacts. Well, yes and no. Did you need something? Part of the fun is just finding this stuff. Like, I always get really excited when I randomly find a, a quest. Kind of like that. So, I, I don't know, like... Aegis Bane. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Look at that. Looks pretty cool, too. Alright, cool. So, we've got... Um, oh, yeah. We were, we were saying that we wanted to put the Nightingale bow above the Nightingale set, right? Let's do that. That sounds like a good idea to me. The Nightingale bow. But what about the blade, though? What about the blade? Oh, it's a shield rack. You can't do it anyway. Alright, so it's gonna have to go here. Again. Alright, cool. Okay. We're good to go. We're good to- we're go- we're good to go. We're gonna go kill- Great! Are we going on another adventure? No, I'm going solo this time because you keep giving up the goods all oh, the time. Don't you need something? No, I don't. So it turns out that every time I was caught by guards was Eric's fault because he he never actually properly hides. I don't know. I guess he's just a bit dumb or something. Um. All right. So we want to go to this place in solitude and kill Vittoria Vici. Nice. I forgot my 69 sweet rolls. I don't like I don't think I need 69 sweet rolls for this wedding though. I could be wrong though. I guess you shouldn't really turn up to a wedding without anything, but if you're looking, you're passing through solitude, maybe you're looking to make some easy gold, yes? What did you have in mind? It's easy to find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Things from underground. Or just left lying around in someone's house. Tell me about it. I bet the two of us were very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. My sure. sister DJ and I are treasure hunters. We like to collect things. Me too. Okay. I knew you looked like a clever one. I love collecting war, things. 
Many more ships come through these docks, loaded with weapons and pay, but few people. Cool. And they pass through dangerous waters. We have an interest in one of those boats, the Ice Runner. The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in, but if its fire were to go out, the Ice Runner would run aground. Oh. So you want me to put out the lighthouse fire? What an interesting idea. I think if someone were to do something like that, there would definitely be a certain amount of loot to be shared. Yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and then meet me on the docks afterwards, I could certainly direct them to that loot. Wow, jeez. All right, Jerry Ra. I mean, I don't like lizards, but I like your way of thinking. What would happen to sailors on the boat? We don't care about all that. It would be best if we spoke little until you've completed your task. That suits Finally me just fine. Finally catching a stream live. That suits Thanks me just for the fine. awesome streams. Hey. Even though I miss the edited videos, your VODs make great company while reading for and playing Skyrim on my spare time. Good. Lots of love from a real life Nord from Good. Northern Norway. I'm glad to hear it, man. That's that's the. Oh look, there she is. Okay, this is where we're gonna snipe her from. I know those troublemaking stormcrows refuse to submit to imperial authority. Such seditious behavior. Why it's treason. And when the elves Okay, we're gonna nail her from up here, guys. We have to wait till let's wait till daytime. It's more realistic, right? Let's wait like they're gonna still be here in nine hours, right? They're just gonna be sitting here forever. So let's wait till daytime. And then maybe more people will turn up and she'll start... That treason against there, look. Okay, we're, uh, we're totally hidden. We gotta wait for her to start talking to some of these people. This is the worst ceremony ever, look. Look what they have. Like four crab cakes and a couple of plums and a big wheel of cheese. If I got invited to this, I would feel really fucking gypped. Oh, somebody's down there singing. Okay. Who's doing the dum dum dee 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 dees down there? Where is that da da dee da da do stuff coming from? Oh, okay, here we go. Right in the ass. Victoria, no! We got her. We got her. The bride okay. has been murdered. Somebody help! All right. We escape into the shadows so that nobody can find us. We can get out of here. Look, nobody knows. Victoria Vici is dead. Shot in the ass on her own wedding Wait. day. Hold up. Pause the stream. I'm heading to make some cereal. I'll be back in two, so don't do anything exciting without me. Okay, Achievement Hunt Mal, no problem. Thanks so much. And also, uh, Viking Chief, thanks for the 15 bucks, man. I appreciate it. And thanks for watching all the VODs and stuff as well. Really appreciate it. Look, there she is. She's dead. Shot in the ass. What a waste. What a waste. Oh my god. Hey, look at this guy. How does he know? Who's Vizara? And how Astrid ordered me to keep an eye on you. Figured you could use a hand when the chaos erupted. Oh, hey. What was that? It was just me, Vizara. What? I think he might actually be attacking everybody. Oh. She's dead. I think I, I think that guy might be going down to tussle with everybody. Oh my goodness. Yeah, she's dead. Don't hit me. I, I like how they're still just like, you know what? The wedding must go on. <laughs> Can we steal her dress? That would be great, right? I don't think you're allowed to go to the scene of the crime afterwards. Let's see though. Ouch. Okay. We should just be able to waltz in here. Hey, what's up, everybody? <gasps> what happened? Oh, no. Who killed the bride? Who do... Oh, shit. How did you know it was me? 
Come on! Okay. Let's let him do all the tanking. We'll just, like, waltz out of here. Fuck. I should have looted her while I had the chance, right? You think her body will still be there after, like, everything calms down? Uh oh. God damn. Okay, where can we go to hide? I have to hide somewhere, right? Can I fast travel out of here? Can I just fast travel now? Go see Astrid? Astrid. Who are you? Who am I? Oh, yeah, what I is I this? Why am I awake? Why does daylight savings time exist? Thank you for making a dark and awful morning just a little brighter with your Skyrim shenanigans here in the American East Coast. Hey, Techesis, thanks for the 20 bucks, man. Daylight savings time exists um, basically for farmers, right? I don't think it's needed anymore, but back in the day when every hour counted, every hour of daylight counted for farming and stuff like that, that's when it was, that's when it was important. But I don't think it's important now because everything's done with machines and stuff and it's just not as important, right? Is that right? Who's the small boy streaming? It's my, um, it's my son. My son's taken over taking over the stream today. Oh, yeah. Astrid, what's up? <laughs> the news is everywhere. Oh, yeah. Victoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. Thanks. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. Mm. She bled like a stuck pig. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. Nice. The assassination of an emperor. Oh, I look forward to it. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Unfortunately, uh. in your zeal, you failed to eliminate Vici while she addressed her guests as directed. Oh. I'm sorry, but your bonus is forfeit. Well, she was leaving. Now, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. I didn't get the bonus. What was the bonus? Was it just was it was it just um was it just money? What a shitty assassin? Oh come on. I'm not that shitty. I did kill her. I wasn't really that detective. Well, I was, but you know. Okay, Gabriella has our next set of contracts. So like the flow of this is like you do one big mission. And then you have to do lots of little missions. And then once you've done the little missions, you get another big mission. And you know what? That works for me. That works fine for me. Oh! Okay. Take that, bitch. Take that. Oh, actually, hang on a second. We gotta find some tomatoes, don't we? Maybe Gabriella's got some. Incriminating letter. What's this incriminating letter that she has on her? Von Wolf, I agree to your conditions. When the Emperor arrives, I will pass along his schedule and arrange for all doors to be unlocked and any posted security to be conveniently absent for a small period of time. Nothing will stand between your men and his imminence. He will die by Stormcloak hands and neither my father nor your great leader Ulfric will even know anything is amiss until it is too late. Leave the first payment in gold at this dead drop. I look forward to continuing our relationship. Gaius Maro. Do I have to do something with this? Oh look, he's back as well. So hang on a second. What's going on here? Dear brother, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. Yes, she did, yeah. She did, what are the details? With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, the security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. Nice! You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. Okay, good. Alright, sure. Um... Don't ask me how, but I, I have the note already. I understand. 
I understand. Hail Sithis. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Wow, that's a big job. Go there now. Observe Gaius Moro's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sithis. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Right, okay. Oh, and one final thing. Yeah? To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. No problem. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Sure. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special oh. token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Oh, okay. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. Well, I don't intend to pass it up. Okay, that's great. We have to steal his travel schedule as well. All right, cool. Gotcha. Walk in Gaius Morrow's shadow and deliver to him the judgment of Sithis. No problem. I, so, wait. So, we didn't get a small quest. This is another big one. We got another big one, guys. Okay, that's good. I'm good with another big one. I like the bigger the better for me. I like him big. Hey, what's up? Ah, oh, you're back. It was good to fight alongside you. I didn't see you at the wedding. In fact, we didn't fight anyone at the wedding. We just got in and out and we shook it all about. And we did the hokey cokey and we turned around. And that's what it's all about. Oh, the hokey cokey. Nope. It was the lizard. The lizard. Oh, the lizard was the one who gave us up, I think. Okay, so we have to go to Dragon Bridge, but not kill this guy in Dragon Bridge. We have to wait till he's in a big city so that we can get the fortune teller token reading thing. Nope. Loves the Empire, kills the Emperor. Uh, was it? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it happens, right? Stuff like that happens all the time. I mean, I've been watching Vikings. Like the Emperor was murdered. And like, there's a lot of a lot of shit like that happening all the time, backstabbing and whatnot. Is this the guy? Don't worry too much. I'll be fine. It's Gaius Marrow. Okay, let's well, let's not draw too much attention to ourselves. Stay alert. When you get to the cities, make your observations and move on. I understand. But you're being paranoid. I'm inspecting security, not charging off into battle. There's not a lot that can go wrong. Son. Emperor's safety is concerned. Anything. Hey! Well, well. Another maggot to squash beneath my boot. Somebody help! What? Can't hide from me. Oh. Of course it is. Of course. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. The man of the hour is here. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm here. We got this. We'll do it together as a team. All right, more dots. That's right. Let let Rogue tank. Rogue. <laughs> Rogue's main is on fire. Sit your ass down. Totally fucked him too. Covered in blood. Totally covered in blood. Alright. We're gonna need some dragon meat. Which I think we just got actually. I think we just got some dragon meat. Yeah, we got four. Haha, <laughs> look at this dragon meat. This is what we're gonna make one tasty burger with later on. Tomatoes and stuff. Pretty cool, huh? Everybody? What do you think? No? Letter from father. Nice. Let's 
see what this says. My son, in order for the Penitus Oculatus to ensure the safety of our honored em emperor during his visit to Skyrim, we must personally verify the security of every city in the province. To this end, I appoint you my personal representative, granting all rights and privileges afforded a commanding officer to the Penitus Oculatus. You are authorized to speak with my voice and administer with my hand. Gaius, I cannot do this alone. There is much work to be done here in Dragonbridge and elsewhere. Many arrangements still to be made before the Emperor's arrival. I simply cannot afford to spend time traveling right now. But you must know the seriousness of the task I set before you. When he arrives, the Emperor may choose to visit any city in Skyrim, as suits his whim. If he does so, we, the Penitus Oculatus, must be sure that security within those cities is sufficient to deal with any threat to his person that may arise. Gaius, my beloved son, you may be new to the Pendidus Oculatus, but I need someone I can trust. You must carry out your duty for the safety of the Emperor, the glory of the Pendidus Oculatus, and the honor of the Marrow family name. Your superior officer and loving father, Commander Marrow. Oh, isn't that nice? Alright. This guy's gonna he's gonna get suspicious of us pretty soon but we're just gonna we're just gonna stalk him golem style from the shadows right and occasionally just sort of like you know whimper or like laugh a little bit say my precious and stuff like that and then before we know it it's gonna be time to ice this food right no paper with four sides wait yeah no yeah no I guess his first stop is going to be, what, Solitude, maybe? Oh, we can steal his travel schedule from that from his house, at, apparently, as well. Okay, let's go see where he's going to go, and then maybe we can just fast travel to where he's going. Because we want to kill him in a city, right? Okay, let's go do that. He's walking really slow, so it's going to take him forever to get where he's going. This is a Penitus Oculatus Outpost. Careful with that. Okay. No problem. Let's just... There we go. Perfect. You are at to adhere to the following schedule. Morndas. Solitude the Emperor's Tower. Morndas Evening, Solitude Castle Dower, Food and Sleep. Tirdas, Windhelm, the Palace of the King. So he's going to Solitude, Windhelm. Then he's going to Riften, White Run. Then he's going to Markarth. And then he's going, uh, he gets Loridas and Sundas to do whatever he wants. And then he has to repeat until I've recalled you personally. Alright, okay, sure. Okay, let's steal this. We got it. Nice. Man, this guy is such a buster. Okay, let's steal from these chests as well. Some, some fine horse hides in here. Nice. Oh, hang on a sec. Three cabbages. Any tomatoes in here? Anyone see any tomatoes? There might be some in here. The sack of flour. We're gonna need that for bread, right? Pine thrush eggs. I don't think that helps as much. <laughs> Did he fall asleep? Oh my god, okay, good. Okay, so we can we can maybe ace him in solitude. We might be able to ace him in solitude. That's where he's heading. He's like kind of almost there, but not really. Okay, let's Let's fast travel to Solitude and wait for him. He fell asleep inside the bucket. Why not? Why not, right? Okay, where is this guy now? Oh my god. Okay, he's making his way up. We'll wait for him here. Let's pretend like we're... Hold up a second. There might be some tomatoes in here. I think tomatoes is like the last thing that we need. Green apples. No one's empty. Okay, let's hang out here. And it'll look like we're just like, you know, just an NPC or whatever. He'll walk through and make his way up, I'm sure. 
Which way is he going? He's coming up this way, I think. Let's wait an hour. It's like 7 o'clock now. Where the fuck did he go? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. He's at fucking Windhelm. Why did he get to fucking Windhelm so quickly? We only waited an hour. Or maybe he's... Maybe he was done in solitude and he was on his way to Windhelm. God, he traveled very far in one hour. That's nuts. I thought it would take him forever to get to, like, Markarth or whatever, but... Oh, here he comes. Look. Oh, hey. Incredible pathing. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Wait, does it count? If we kill him here, does this count technically as Windhelm? Or is it more like he's on the road still? Okay, here he comes. Wait, where is he going now? He's not actually going into any of the towns. He has to be inside the walls. Ah, fuck, he's off to Riften now. He's off to Riften now. Shit. Okay, let's see if he makes it to Riften. What? Look at what day it is? Look at the day. Well... Yeah, look at the day, sure, but... Fucking... Okay, where is this chump now? Okay, he's gonna be here soon. The day is currently Sundas. Okay. Kiss, I think, kiss. I, think I remain. Okay. Zeronium. Loradas and Sundas, he can do whatever he wants. And then he's going to go back to um, Solitude from here. But what time is it on Sundas? 6.30 p.m. So By actually, the way, I bought an old Hogan t-shirt. It is a fucking gem. I mourn the loss of your beard. Oh, to be thanks, a true man. Viking, you have to have a beard. Yeah, See I know. you in Valhalla, little salami. <laughs> Viking Chief, thanks again for the 15 bucks, man. And Zeronium, thanks so much for the donation as well. You guys are the best, thanks. Okay, so we, I mean, we could just wait for him here, but it, it's Sundas, and I think he's allowed to just do whatever he wants on Sundas. No? And yet, my body shakes with the need. Control yourself. Do not frighten away our customers with your fits. Yes, of course, you are right. Howdy, Sips. One more video from finally catching up to your current streams. About to head to work, but wanted to show my appreciation for all the years of awesome entertainment you've graced us with. PST, there's a Thalmer HQ in solitude, kill em all. Man, ZCS Nightmare, with a hundred bucks, fuck, Jesus Christ man, thanks so much. I really appreciate that man, thank you. You've made my Monday. Thanks. Oh, what a guy. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. There is much beauty in this place. You know, you're right. It is fucking beautiful around here, isn't it? It's just insane how much so. Oh, God, this guy's taking forever. Okay, if I skip an hour now, he's gonna probably be back in, like, fucking... Watch. Oh, no. He's here. He's in Riften. Okay. Let's hope that he's still in Riften, and then we can we can ice him. It looks like he's maybe staying at an inn or something in Riften. This could be our this could be our big chance. This could be it. Maybe he's staying like at his friend's house or something in Riften. Oh yeah, he is. Look, he's staying at the inn, the B and the Barb. Okay, we know everybody here, don't we? We're the man around here. So we can we can easily find him and you've got take him out. You've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. 
New in town, eh? Yeah. Here for the fishing, I guess. Yes. That's that is my cover, yes. I'm here for the fishing. I'm here for the fishing. Ours is to smile at your passing, friend. Oh, thanks, Talon J. Talon J! I presume you're bothering me for a good reason. No, no, I was just actually Well, gonna... look what the horker dragged in. I knew you couldn't stay away. With a master of magic at your side, you'll have nothing to fear. Hey, Mark Curio. Let's talk about home. Huh? Um, let's travel to your home. You don't like your home, do you? Actually, I've changed my... You know what, actually? I've Whatever changed my said. mind about your home. I'm not ready. It's time. So, you think I just... you can make it on your own, then? We'll just see about that. I just lost 500 Keep back, bucks. citizen. I have important business I must attend to. What, sitting next to a guy and drinking? I can see, yeah, sorry. Gosh, really sorry for interrupting. What time is it now? 8.40 p.m. All right, he's got to go to bed pretty soon. Let's just sit down and wait. There we go. Hey, Taylor, get off your there we go. Tail and take care of the customers. Keep your scales on. You want a drink? Uh, you mentioned you serve special drinks? Oh, hang on, my, my mark is moving. Three, in fact. They're my own recipe. Brought them over here from my days as a bartender in Gideon. Right. First is the Velvet Lachance, which is a mixture of blackberry, honey, spiced wine, and a touch of nightshade. Perfectly safe, I assure you. That sounds delicious. Second, we have the White Gold Tower. Which is heavy cream with a layer of blended mead, lavender, and dragon's tongue on top. Last and only for that the bravest good. of souls, we have the Cliff Racer, which is firebrand wine, cyrodelic brandy, flynn, and sujama. That doesn't sound as good, actually. Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both? You know, I could actually. You know what? Let's take. Let's take this and you know what give me this carrot as well to eat nice thanks for the drinks just get out of here got sick of sitting next to the wizard. Okay, let's sit back down. What the hell? He started off being really nice and then all of a sudden he's just get out of here. What? <laughs> Solid carrot wine. Yeah, and I, I'm not going to give him the tip. That was terrible service actually. I've never I've I've never met anyone so rude in my whole life actually. Shoot him from my seat. I don't think I can draw my bow while I'm sitting down. So now that Burgers of Skyrim is done, um, what was the next mod that we wanted? Uh, there was a, a list of mods that I that I outlined, didn't I? I mean, a marriage mod that actually worked would be really good too. Because I mean, I would like to marry the um, what's her face, the girl from the Dark Brotherhood. Man, she's a fucking babe. She got a husband though. We'd have to kill him. He doesn't look like he'd be too tough to take down, though. Maybe while he's smithing, you know, an accident could happen or something, and then... Bam. We're married. No? The bookcase one. Well, I guess I could get the bookcase mod. No, but I had an idea for another mod, but I just can't remember what it is now. Hey, Dad. No. Loving the new playthrough. Thanks. Here's one for you. Why did the dragon take Skuma? All his friends were all doing it, too. <laughs> Or a hip hop, that's a stinker. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. Alright. What time is it now? 9 46 p.m. This guy is fucking last man standing at every party, I guess. Oh, look, now he's just gonna have a chat with the magician and sit down next to him again. I feel like maybe he's, he's like, nervous. You know, he's trying to come on to the magician, but he's nervous. He doesn't want his dad to find out he's gay. Um, so he's just like scoping the place out, trying to find the best time to approach the wizard. 
and then he's gonna sort of say, hey wizard, come upstairs and ride me like a stallion. He'll whisper it, of course, and the wizard will probably be like, sure, and then that'll be that. They'll get it on. But it's this whole like process of courtship that leads up to it, which is really interesting to watch as well. You can just imagine the conversation they're having right now. Hey, uh, it's a pretty nice place, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, come here every day. It's nice, yeah. Yeah, I like it a lot. Want to ride me like a stallion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, uh, I was really hoping you'd ask, actually. Yeah, let's go upstairs. Maybe not right away, though. It's only 10, 10 p.m. We have to wait for a little bit longer, I guess, for this guy to get all tuckered out and retreat to his chambers. Once he does that, we'll take him out. And we'll plant the evidence on him. Maybe while he's in full swing. See, look, he's changed his mind again. He's like, no, no, I can't let my dad find out. This is wrong. This goes against all my beliefs, but... God, I'm so horny at the same time. I, I'm gonna have to try again in a minute. He's gonna, he, he's gonna pluck up the courage and then he's gonna go again in a sec, right? Just put the poison? <clears throat> Do I have poison? It won't kill him straight away though, right? If I put poison? I mean, I could just save and try it out. I presume you're bothering me for a good reason. I wonder if we can do this without him seeing. Like, everybody is watching. Maybe we can do it, like, through the wall. This doesn't look suspicious at all, though, does it? Jarira. Talon J. Okay, here, he's on the move. Where's he going now, I wonder? Keep back, citizen. Okay. I have important business I must attend to. Sorry. Oh, I think he's actually going upstairs, guys. Nice. Nice. Alright, good. Oh. We need a wedge of cheese, don't we? How can I... You remind me of the shadow scales from the old histories. Oh, is that so? Thanks very much. What in the name of oblivion do you want? Oh, nothing. I'm just... Oh, look, he's going to bed. <clears throat> nice. No, he's not... He's not even going to bed. Fuck, he's just drinking upstairs now. The Dream of Sovngarde. I don't think I have this one yet. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Let's close the door. I have to watch him to see if he goes to sleep. Maybe there's some other people up here sleeping. No, there's not. I think I've stolen everything from this place already. No. Just do him. Well, we want to, we don't want to do him like... Oh. We don't want the people of Riften to get angry at the, at the doing of him. It's a strong box here. Oh my god. Some wine. Some wine here too. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's take this bread as well so we don't have to cook our own. Okay, I think we have the makings of a, of a burger already. Okay, this is where we do them. What do you think you're doing? Oh my god. Oh my god. We're out here. Pull back. Uh, oh, that was close. Help! There's beer. Somebody help! Okay, let's stay hidden. Just have to put the incriminating yeah, letter so on his body. Now. I don't think anyone knows I did it. I don't think anyone knows. Oh, look at this. He's got a Penitus Oculitus armor and stuff as well. Okay, let's take all this stuff. Now let's put the incriminating letter on him. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, shit, what happened to him? What happened to him? Anyone know? 
got really drunk and fell over, didn't he? Oh, I knew it. I presume you're bothering me for a good reason. I, I knew that this was going to happen. When I saw this guy in here trying to come onto the wizard and stuff, I knew he was just going to get so drunk that he would pass out right in front of the door and die. I don't have time for idle chit-chat. What is it? What are you doing that for? I'll tell you why. Covering my tracks. Mm -hmm. New in town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. I'm covering my tracks, guys. I don't want anyone I have to know that. Some nerve coming back here after what you did to Kirava. What? What, what mm -hmm. the fuck? I didn't do anything. Fancy to yourself it. the adventuring type, eh? It's just as well. I doubt your combat prowess would prove valuable in a real battle anyway. Welcome to the Bee and Barb, my lord. If I can interest you in one of our special drinks, you let me know. There. Perfect. Mm -hmm. What a scene. Okay, excellent. So we've done it. We have to go back to Gabriella now. Let's do that. We'll go back. He got really drunk and then some cheese fell on his head and killed him. That's how he died. And that's... That's how... That's what, that's what the investigation is going to turn up, right? <laughs> that lizard's got schizophrenia? Yeah, he does. I don't know. He's got a real personality disorder. It's nuts, isn't he? It's very bipolar. One minute he's like, hey, you're the best. Thanks so much. The other minute he's like, you've got some fucking nerve. Stepping foot in here. <laughs> Doing some shit to somebody you never met. Oh, wait. No, we have met his wife, right? What the, what the hell did we do to Al Jazeera? I don't know if we did anything to her. I don't think we did anything. Ah, oh, at last. I'm back. I've been anxiously awaiting your return. He's dead. Yes, I know. As does Astrid. <laughs> You have done well, and have earned both a reward and a bonus, as I have mentioned. But you should know that we have a more pressing matter to deal with. What is it? It's... Cicero. There's been an incident. You should proceed into the sanctuary. I'll let Astrid explain. Oh. What's he, what's he done now? Just being his usual self? Just who could have ever, who could have ever seen that coming? Let the elixir do its work. You'll feel better shortly. Ah. Uh, thank you, dear. What's You're wrong, back. Astrid? Almost kind. Good. You'll the want to hear this. cut feels as bad as it looks, I'm afraid. Damn it! This never should have happened. We knew better. We knew better, and still we let our guards down. Ugh! I'll admit, even I'm having a hard time disagreeing with you. Marrow is dead, I know. But we've got bigger problems right now. What is it? The fool went absolutely berserk. No. He wounded Vizara, tried to kill me, and then he fled. I knew that lunatic couldn't be trusted. Oh, it's true, I'm afraid. Cicero was a little whirlwind, slashing this way and that. It, it would have been funny if he weren't trying to murder us all. No way! Don't forget the ranting and raving. About the Night Mother, how she was the true leader of the Dark Brotherhood. And Astrid was just a pretender. He's not wrong. Look. We've got to deal with this situation. Right. You've got to deal with... Look, we've got Sorry. to deal with this situation. You've got to deal with this situation. Okay. What do you want me to do? I want you to find that miserable little fool and end his life. But first, find my husband. Make sure he's all right. Oh, After the attack, Onbjorn flew into a rage. He's dead. When Cicero left, Finally. Onbjorn went after him. They disappeared into the wild. Okay. Search Cicero's room. Maybe there's something in there that sheds some light on where he might have gone. Okay. Let me know the minute you find something. I've got to see to Vizara and calm everyone down. This is my chance, guys. This is my chance. I'm gonna take him out. I'm gonna take out the husband. Even if he is alive. Let's just... He's dead. He is dead. No matter what, he's dead. Where's Cicero's room? Oh, it's over here. Okay, let's see. Oh, I see they gave him the, um, they gave him the, uh, oh, look, he's got a whole bunch of journals in here that he's just left lying around. Journal Volume 1, 18th of Evening Star. As I begin this new phase of my life, I've decided to finally keep a journal. So much has happened to me thus far, both within the Brotherhood and without. When I think there is no record of what has transpired, it almost seems an affront to Sithis himself, so I am determined to make amends. Yes, the Dark Brotherhood has its own scribes and chroniclers, but it's... 
It is their solemn task to record those events deemed important to the organization as a whole. Let this volume serve as the personal record of one man, a lowly assassin who has pledged his blade and his life for the Dark Brotherhood. I have arrived safely in the Shindenhall Ch Sanctuary and have been greeted warmly by Rasha and the others. Indeed, the level of... Th th his writing does not reflect his personality whatsoever. Indeed, the level of support and acceptance shown by my new family is rather overwhelming. For this sanctuary, no suffering, no sorrow, for the ghosts of purification still haunt its halls. So, who better to understand the plight of a brother who has lost home and heart? Who better to comfort one whose sanctuary is no more? The Brumash sanctuary may be gone, but my dearest brothers and sisters will still live forever in my dreams, just as their souls live forever by the dread father's side. God damn. Fucking holy shit. I mean, it goes on and on and on and on and on and on. Okay, let's take volume two. I'm sure there's some sort of clue in here somewhere, but fuck me, I'm not reading all of them. Okay, volume three. Volume four as well. Okay. Is there a volume five? It's the final volume. This will be the important one. I have written the letters, so polite, so official, to Astrid in Skyrim. Her sanctuary still stands, still operates. But how? No listener means no... no. Uh, I wonder if we read through all of them, he just goes more and more nuts. Because now it's like, now this one seems like he's nuts, right? Maybe. Hey Sips, hey. sorry you lost your beard. Oh. Here's ten pounds to help you buy a new one. <laughs> Cad BTV, thanks so much man, I'll buy a new one. No listener means no black sacrament. No black sacrament means no contracts. Her family can abandon the old ways and still survive, still kill. But is, is that family still brotherhood or something else? Something new, something different, something wrong, something wrong. Still, we must go. Tomorrow we set sail. Float on a boat through the moat called the sea, her, and me. He's taken her, I think. Sick, sick, sick of all the rocking, tossing, rolling, throwing upon the gray, gray waves. I've been re reading of Skyrim of the good old days, blah, blah, blah. The black door will ask, what is life's greatest illusion? I am to answer innocence, my brother. Finally, a space, a place to call my own, a joker's retreat for the fool of hearts. The sanctuary's home, as I had dear, dared hope, cool and dark and lovely. My sanctuary, sanctuary from all. I know it's every corner, every hall, every shadowed... Nook and Alcove, my sanctuary. The guardians know me, recognize me as keeper. They leave poor Cicero alone. The big ugly beast, a different story. He'd eat me if he could. But to bind me, grind me, he'd need to find me. And Cicero, blah, blah, blah. Sanctuary from all. Has he got his own... Wait. I must teach Astrid the error of her ways, the beauty and necessity of the old ways. I have sent the letter to Astrid. We leave soon, but Cicero will keep his sanctuary as his sanctuary. A place to rest and my place... And ply my trade, for I once more take up the blade and send some lucky souls to him. When laughter strikes, as fits my whim. What the hell? Okay. I'm confused, but also, it's mostly because I'm lazy and I didn't want to read it all. But something had to have happened in those journals to make him the way he is now, right? Maybe he just spent too long on the road or something? Huh! I'm back! He's got a whole bunch of journals. Have you found something? Yes. Good, good. Does it say where he may be headed? An abandoned sanctuary at Dawn Star, and I have the passphrase. The Dawn Star Sanctuary? Was it the illusion of something? Never mind, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Now. Every okay. moment counts. So I want you to take my horse. Ooh. His name is Shadowmere. You'll find him outside by the pool. Let's just say he's one of us. Find Arnbjorn. Make sure my husband's all right. Oh, I will. And then send that jester's twisted little soul to the void in as many pieces as possible. All right. Did something set Cicero off, though? No, nothing. At least nothing I'm aware of. Okay. Well, if I'm being honest... I haven't exactly been discreet lately in expressing my frustration with this whole situation. Obeying the Night Mother, you being the listener, it's ridiculous. No offense. Cicero may have overheard it, me talking to one of the others about the Night Mother. It's possible I was not entirely respectful. Right. But to go this far, 
to attempt to murder the leader of a sanctuary. Cicero must pay with his life. There is no other option. Did, did, he, did he take the mother with her? With him? I took that prancing fool into my home, and this is how he repays me? Alright, let's just see. I think he has taken her, but let's just double check. Just to see. Yeah. No! Okay. We need to have a powwow. Okay? We need to have a quick. Ugh. We can't. Okay, he hasn't taken her. But she won't speak to me. I can listen. Come on. Show me the way. I, I think Astrid's gonna get it. I think she doesn't realize that the Night Mother is like some sort of ghost or something. And, um, you know. Ugh. Pardon me. Hang on a second. Let me just get a tissue quickly. Oh, Hi, Sips. Hi. I had a really horrible week last week, but watching your streams really? has helped distract me and made me laugh so many times. So I thought I should donate to say thank you oh. and I love you less than three. Oh, thanks, Sage Vanaz. Thanks so much. All right. So, sorry, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I think Astrid's going to get it because she seems to be like... Not, not, not for the Night Mother, but the Night Mother is like, I don't know, some sort of like, she, well, she's dead, right? And she can speak, so like, what a shadow mirror. What is this? Horse, it's like Black Beauty in The Witcher. With the eyes and stuff. Oh, fuck. This horse is pretty cool. It's a what? We just get a horse? What about Rogue, though? Nah, Rogue doesn't look better. Look at this. Oh, look. They're kissing. Oh, They love each other. Look. I'm so glad that they get along. That's really nice. Okay, so we have to go to Dawnstar, apparently. There's a... There's a thing... There's a sanctuary here that he's hiding in. <laughs> Undead horse that's impossible to kill? Oh, wow. That could be handy. I love the way the horses move in this game. Uh-oh. Is there trouble? We got some trouble here? What's going on? They say that vampires attack the Hall of the Vigilant. Oh yeah, we need to go check that Hall of the Vigilant out. Oh man, look at... can actually swim and stuff too. This is great. Oh. I hope Astrid doesn't die. I hope we can just kill her husband and then marry her. She seems like the type of gal who needs... Oh look. A Dawnstar Sanctuary. Nice. Oh, hey. What's up? Should have figured Astrid would send you. Yeah. You're hurt. Ugh, what gave it away? Oh, it's you're bleeding everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Gotta admit that little jester's good with that butter knife. But don't worry. I gave as good as I got. Well, he's almost dead? Where is he now? In there. Through the door. Some old sanctuary by the looks of it. I would have followed him, but I don't know the phrase. I know it. I know the phrase. I'll get him. All right. You convinced me. Doubt I'd be much good to you anyway. The little fop cut me pretty deep. But I slashed him good. Pretty sure I severed an artery. Don't know what you're going to find in there. But you can probably just follow the blood. Nice. What are you doing? Sorry, man. Sorry. Sorry about this. I want your wife. Oh my god. Is he not dead? Is he just paralyzed? Excuse me. Come on, let's calm down now. Ouch. 
Back to being wounded. Oh, you can't kill him. You can't actually kill him, sadly. Well, I don't want the horse to just attack me forever, right? So we just have to, we'll just have to reload. Okay, good. Should have figured Astrid would send you. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah. Got it ah. in there. Ah. Through the door. Ah. 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 I slashed him. Good. <laughs> Pretty sure I severed an artery. Okay. Don't know what you're gonna find in there. Off you go, bitch. But you can probably just follow the blood. I love the sound. <laughs> Alright. Kill that little Chester twice. Oh, I will for sure. Don't worry. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill him twice. Nobody gets away. What's the past? <laughs> 